Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about graph the functions listed in the library of functions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So what I'm going to go through here is I'm going to toss some functions out here, and we're going to go talk about each one of them, okay? So first one is a constant, f of x equals c, where c is a constant. Notice we have that horizontal line. We can see the input values of negative 2, 0, and 2 all have the same output values of 2 here. Okay? Now that's an example of one of them. It's not specifically this one because the C, the constant, can be any number. But that would be f of x equals 2 here. Okay? So that's a constant function. Number 2, or the second one here, is the identity function. And that's f of x equals x. And this function, f of x equals x, is just that one value's identity function, and it goes through the origin, and we can see our table there as well that represents the points on this graph. The absolute value function here is f of x equals the absolute value of x, okay? And that has this v shape. Now, this is the, the parent function. Of course, things can be added to it, but it's generally going to have that v shape there, okay? Um, we see our table there that the a lot of times our, in, our outputs will repeat here. Outputs with different inputs. Different inputs will produce sometimes the same output. Our quadratic is f of x equals x squared. And it has this u shape to it, but it also can be flipped upside down, just kind of like the absolute value could be as well. But it's similar in the sense that one input or two inputs can go to the same output. Our cubic functions, f of x equals x to the third power, has this kind of s shape to it, but there's variations of that. It can be more um, exaggerated or condensed. It can be maybe flipped around, but it has that there. Okay, Some of these functions can be one-to-one. -one. Our reciprocal function, f of x equals 1 over x, has this basic shape there. Okay, It's almost like two different curves. It has usually two, or it has two asymptotes there. Uh, sometimes we have a vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote like this one does. The reciprocal, reciprocal squared, all right, f of x equals 1 over x squared, okay, generally will have that shape as you see right here. It's kind of flowing almost like a volcano, right? It's almost like a volcano coming up. That's the basic function there. Again, here we have a vertical and a horizontal asymptote. Our square root function, f of x equals the square root of x, the base one, has this shape. It's almost... It's kind of like a ray, but it's curved there, where you usually have an endpoint, and it goes off forever in one of the directions there, okay? And lastly, our cube root function, f of x equals a third root of x, has this shape right here, okay? And it's like a, almost like a cubic function, but twisted on its side. It has this S shape. Now, these might be, you know, wrote, flipped and stuff like that, but mirrored, but it has generally that shape right there, okay? So we went through the basic functions here listed in our library functions and hope you learned something about what each one looks like. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com